This is fun in a box. So I'm getting a piercing. I literally have like 12 days left of school. Like officially yeah. measure everything in here for the soft play. Okay, I'm going to get her baby button yeah. pierced. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this for a first. Joel's cleaning the table without being asked. Tell us why you don't want to film today. I just don't want to film today. He's literally been like this since he got back. I just don't feel like filming today. <laughs> what is going on? Leave me alone. What? Lock, what? Yeah, what is going on? Nothing. Has he got a beat up thing or black eye under there? Nothing. I just. Had a bad experience at the eyebrow person today. Oh no. no. Have you got no eyebrows? Have you got no eyebrows? I've have they taken your eyebrows? I wish I didn't have eyebrows right now. No. Want to see you... my eyebrows? Oh. <laughs> Are they there? Yeah. What do you think of them? They're good. They're, They're good? good? Yep. Yeah. She's a good liar. Are you lying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh, they're dark. They're very dark. I mean, get a close up, guys. They're not that bad. The shape of them is good. They're so dark. They're like two slugs on my face. Can I just say? They were fade. They, it, that were, they were fade within like a day Sarah, or two. I've been scrubbing my eyebrows with nail polish today. Oh my okay. gosh, that's this so dangerous for your eyes. Guys, that's so dangerous for your eyes. Oh my gosh, you must have gone to the same eyebrow place. <laughs> Joel, seriously, are you going to tell us what's in this box? I'm dying to know what it is that you've ordered. It's so like, what is it? It's a surprise. For who? For the whole family. For the whole family. This is fun in a box. That's what I'm saying. Fun in a box. It's both Gross. That will have to be for another video. Okay. Here, give me the camera. But can we just, like, also, like, look, all these things you keep ordering, like this ramp. Like guys, look at my garden. Seriously, pretty garden, and then this. What else did you Maybe. order? You ordered something else, I'm sure, without me knowing. Hmm. hmm. Have you? And obviously, we're having Maybe the soft play put in here, which will be done in um, a few weeks. But I overheard you asking the guy about the, the outdoor slide that goes from Chloe's room to that room. Yeah. Yes, and I, I told I you I don't want the that. Door and I was whispering. I said she can't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, we have had the people come officially measure everything in here for the soft play, and it's going to be wicked. But I did ask him about the slide, and he said it wasn't going to be possible because the thing that I thought with like the slide coming out of the top room and then coming in here is that it would have to like have like a kind of run out all the way across here and then we'd lose so much space for the soft play that plus also now i want to put like the skate park in here so we can't really have the slide there maybe another time another house another lifetime another wife yeah another wife <laughs> So today's video is our evening bedtime routine. We have done these videos before, but it changes all the time and it's changed massively again. So this is like a new updated evening routine. This will be in another video. It is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so. Mum just rolled her eyes when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's play. Oh, snitches get stitches. So we've got coursework to do. Coursework. That can be done by tomorrow but I have another lesson tomorrow and I have to do my English speech <laughs> anyway let's go let's get these kids to bed oh there it is oh, there it is yeah, so guys, part of our bedtime routine is to like spin the kids around in the kitchen get them all hyper before bedtime oh there it is Why the kids don't go to bed when we put them to bed? No idea. Excuse me. No, 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 no. What have you got? Let me see. No, what have you got? No, what have you got? What is it? So you need to. She's got. She's got fruit pastels. No, it's bedtime. So you see my mouth. She can't do anything. Uh, what have you got? Come on, on the sofa. Okay, so other than winding the kids up just before bed, the next thing that we do is we make cocoa a bottle of milk, put them in this room here with a film on, like at the moment they're watching Descendants. 
So this is supposed to be their calm down time. It's like, how long do we normally do? Like 15, 20 minutes? Of like just watching a movie, calming down. And we like to think it makes them go to bed better, but with Chloe, nothing seems to work. Casey, no, stop. We're encouraging naughty behaviour. It's in my eyebrows. Oh, it's fine. Grace, your face is telling me that it's really bad. I love <laughs> My eyebrows, look. They're actually being calm now, so this is what they're gonna do for the next 15 20 minutes. I don't know why Sophie's making that noise. But time for bed now. Let's go. Let's go to bed. Let's be a good girl, okay? Come on, let's go. Coco being our fourth child, we pretty much thought we'd figured out this whole parenting thing, and she has just been something. Else. We've never, never had a child that has been so consistently bad at bedtime. I know this bedtime routine looks a bit bad, but that's just, I think, because we were filming it while I was playing up. My eyebrows look so bad. But Chloe, even if she, everything goes smoothly and she has like, a good bedtime routine and she watches the film and she has her milk, she, everyone's so chilled, she still plays up. And we have tried everything, and I mean literally everything. I will never look at another parent again and judge them for having like a naughty kid because, you know, Chloe's just shown us that anyone can have a wild child. Where is she? Oh. Right, calm down. Why are you turning off all the lights and shutting all the doors, Sarah? Get ready for bedtime. Yeah, why do you do that? Oh. <laughs> 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 I forgot you <laughs> okay, so basically, the reason I do that is because when Chloe gets out of bed, she <laughs> started to like flush things out of the toilet or go into the girls' bedroom and get their makeup. So I literally switch off everyone's bedroom, like shut the doors, so and hopefully I can hear it. And she won't want to go in there because it's dark. Okay, so I wish I could go in the Yeah. <laughs> And that, that child there is <laughs> Whoa. What should I do? Just leave the camera on the side down here or something? I'll just leave it down there. Now come on, Sophie. Come in here. Hi, guys. Come on, Sophie. Come and brush your teeth. <laughs> no, I'm going to be so cross. Oh. Hey, guys. Auntie. Hi. We doing today. Okay, guys, this is a room. This is a room. This is not snacks. Um, some days, Lord. So that is it. Oh my. Right, come here, okay? I need to talk to you. Come here, sit here. So I've never actually watched Super Nanny before and ever felt like, do you know what? I'd really love her to come here and help us with our parenting. I've never felt like that. With Chloe, I feel like I'd love Super Nanny to come in to tell us how to sort this kid out. Here's your eye mask. Okay, good night, my baby. Good night. Love ya. This is the part where one of us sits outside Chloe's room and makes sure that she goes to bed. I have coursework to do. And I also am, um, oh yeah, I said room because I did the thing. And I've also got my like, speaking and listening exam. And basically, I don't understand this, wait, I'm just gonna try and face the light in. I really don't understand the speaking and listening exam because it literally means nothing. Like basically, you get your GCSE results and it's literally on like the side next to your like mark. And it, you don't have to like, say if you go for like a job or something, you don't have to show like what you got in it unless you want to. But it literally like no one asks for it, if you know what I mean. Like it honestly, I literally don't understand it. But it basically is almost impossible to fail. Like that's what my teacher was saying, anyways. Because like if if it's like too short or anything, then they ask you questions. You can only basically fail if you just don't do it. So I've got that tomorrow. Well, basically we're meant to have it Thursday and Friday, but I have practical weeks. So I'm being assessed on my dance and PE. So I'm doing mine tomorrow instead because I just want to get over and done with. And she said I sent it to her and she did stuff and she said it's looking good. Don't need to worry about that because I don't need to add anything on. I'm pretty sure it's literally like three minutes which is exactly how long it needs to be. And then PE, honestly I actually can't. I was meant to be doing, I meant to 
have finished this in Easter. And it's been like, it's been like two days. We've been back at school for like two days. And I was meant to have this done by Easter, but I didn't know until the day before we were going back to school because my friend Iris reminded me. So I didn't get it done, but the teacher wasn't, she didn't really say much. Like she didn't, wasn't annoyed or anything. Um, obviously we're not doing our GCSEs and we're just doing like teachers' predictions and stuff. But at this point, we might as well have done GCSEs because we've literally done like three sets of mocks. We had mocks, then we came back and we're back for like two weeks and then we go straight back into mocks again. And, and then I finished. I literally finished on like May the 7th, I think it is. It literally doesn't feel real. Like we're literally, I'm literally gonna finish school soon. I don't know, I don't I don't really wanna leave school. Luckily I'm staying at my sixth form. I literally have like 12 days left of school, like actual school and then I'm do done, then I'm gone. Cause I was gonna say done and gone. But I really, really don't wanna leave. Like I'm actually scared to leave. That thing, my last year, like my last full year of school was in year nine. And now this year, like, I have hardly even been at school. And now I'm gonna be gone soon. It's mad. I've decided that I'm gonna put Netflix on like next to my course work because I really I just can't do it in silence and like music I don't know I just find like when I'm doing music like listening to music it like it distracts me more but if I put something on on Netflix that I'm not like really actually gonna pay it like want to pay attention to but it's just on the background then I'll focus more because I can't sit there in silence and do work like I just get too bored and then I get distracted but I have no idea what I'm gonna put on I'll just find something random Grace has got some homework to do yep Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> what homework do you have to do tonight? I have to do an art research page on someone. Who? Brian Dewey. I have no idea who that is, but once you've done your research, you can tell me, right? So today's video is sponsored by MSI and let me show you this incredible computer that they've sent me. I've actually never seen anything like this before. So we've got the MSI QB5-10M computer set up in our kitchen. The girls have been using it for their homework or research and I've been using it to research YouTube videos or watch a few YouTube videos. And also Sophie and Chloe have been enjoying using it to search their favourite YouTube channels. So this is the QB5-10M. The QB5 is the smallest mini PC in its kind with a 0.66 litre case that provides all of the elements of a desktop worth PC. So the QB5 is actually designed that you can actually mount it on the back of your monitor, making it completely invisible. The QB5 is also extremely quiet. Grace. Sorry. <laughs> like I was saying, the QB5 is extremely quiet. Guys. I'm doing an ad. No, shush. Fine. Here. Quiet. Thank you. Appreciate it. So like I was saying, it's quiet, energy efficient. It also has a low noise fan, reducing a low noise level of only 23.6 dB of idle mode. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds quiet it also comes with this external power switch which you can stick to your desk which means depending on where you have the computer you either don't have to lean round to the back of the monitor or down to the floor to turn it on and off also using the pro m271 qp monitor professional monitor which has full hd resolution anti-flicker technology and less blue light technology which will block and absorb the blue light generated from the screen and shield your eyes from a harmful effect of blue light which is so important for protecting you or your children's eyes from any damage blue light can cause. The anti-glare display is designed to cut down the amount of light that reflects off of the display making the view more pleasant for users and reduces eye strain. You can also tilt and turn the monitor. The monitor also has two watt built-in speakers which means users can listen to audio files attend online courses or to edit videos at any time without carrying any external speaker or wearing any headphones. So guys, there's a link in the description below to find out where to buy your QB5 10M computer and enjoy. She's still awake. Yeah. Go. Good night. Good night, love you. So I finished my homework and I'm now by myself in the front room. I'm watching Modern Family on Netflix. And it's like a really easy to watch like series because it's like it's like they're not related so it's like quite easy to watch and it's quite a it's like a comedy but um sometimes i would go on a run in the evening before it gets dark because it's really dark but today i didn't go on a run and yeah that's what i like sometimes i do this is like my guilty pleasure in the evenings honestly these are so good. Not necessarily this one. I don't read that dairy milk chunk one is like 
it's whatever, like the dime one is banging. The only problem with these, right, is that why do they make them so small? So I can eat this in about four spoonfuls, right? So then I end up having two. One night I had like three, which then makes me feel really greedy. But I just feel like if they just made it bigger, then it wouldn't make me feel so greedy. But saying that, I do actually need to start eating healthier. I have got on a little bit of extra timber over lockdown, which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. So I'm trying to cut down on Deliveroo and Uber Eats, and I'm just trying to, trying to get my steps in, like now. Vlogging, walking, getting those steps in. So now I'm just gonna eat this. Peace and quiet. Finally. I just said peace and quiet. Oh. <laughs> Finally. Finally. She's asleep. Yay. Yay. No, it's my bedtime. Good night. Jason. I wish we'd go to bed so early. I did last night. I did last night. I was in bed at like 8 o'clock. I fell asleep on the sofa last night. Sarah come down at like half one in the morning to get me and like... I know Casey's like, Mum, today in the car, she said, Mum, was there a reason that like, you slept upstairs and Dad slept on the sofa? I was like, he just fell asleep. I said, I was so tired that I got into bed. Mm. I was like, and Dad fell asleep on the sofa watching TV. Like, I love falling asleep on You sofa always fall asleep on the sofa, but normally I'm there to wake you up when we go upstairs. Yeah. But That's what happens when you're not there. Like, half one in the morning, I'm still there. And you got woken up by me, because I woke up like, where is it? Came down like, John, You come down like, bed. come on, come to bed. Like, okay. I didn't say, like, come on, come to bed. You did? You like, come on. Come on. I was like, come on, bed now. Because I can never sleep properly until you're in the bed. I know. Even though I don't like to be touched in bed, like, do I? I'm like, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I see, like, when I'm in bed, I like to have my own space. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> no, you know, you know what I mean. It's a family channel, sir. You know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Shut up. We all know what she means. No, I'm, yes, anyway. I didn't mean it like that, I mean as in, even like if Sophie tries to get in our bed, like, oh, I just, I don't want anyone that She doesn't like to be cuddled. I just need space when like, I'm sleeping. So when Sophie and Chloe sometimes do get in our bed, like in the morning, they're either side of me, and we're all like, yeah. and I'm like. They know to come to you, because I'll be like, bed. Oh yeah. They come to you and like, you go, like, come on, sneak in. Just finish my course work. I don't understand it yet, because it's, Basically, my teacher English. said it's impossible to fail, pretty much. Like, obviously... But you're going to accept the challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, can, you basically only fail if you just don't do it. Because I'm going to... Basically, she said you can't... You can have the whole paper, but you can't just read it. What are you doing now? I'm going to read it to her. Oh, is that what she said? Yeah. I wasn't listening. I was eating my yogurt. And next thing I know, she's walking off. She, when she now first... Now I've listen to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Sick. Can't wait. Why should women be taught... I, I say, say woman. 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 Yeah, I feel like when I'm reading it, I sound, I sound really weird. Why should women be taught to cover themselves? Women. So, women, then. Why should women? Yeah, women. women. You don't say woman if you're talking about multiple yeah. women. It's a woman women. or women. So what do you say about not being able to fail, it, fail English? Yeah. Why should women? <laughs> women. What are you doing? I, I can't. Women. Why should women? Women. Why are you saying women? <laughs> Why should women? <laughs> women. Why should... Women. 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 Men. <laughs> women. 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 Not women. Like swimming. Women. Women. There you go. There you go. Women. Because you're thinking about the word yeah. woman. Why should women? <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Cool. So, are you happy with your paper? Well, I'm still reading it to you. Oh. You're not getting out. Hey. Oh no, the oh, battery. battery's, the battery's running out, guys. Oh, lucky them. Yeah, I feel gutted for you lot because you're not going to be able to listen to this, so... It's right, guys. Oh, 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 what's that? You Chloe's awake? awake? Off I go. <laughs> so Casey so just good. read her paper to us and all jokes aside, obviously we were joking earlier about not wanting to hear it, but it was actually really, really so good. So good. It was all about, what was it all about in a summary? Men should like sexualize women for what they wear. And please. women should be able to feel confident with whatever they want to wear, not have to dress up or down. I'm going to read my, my last, my, my last um, sentence is quite good actually. If she does say so herself. Wearing shorts is not equal co to consent and does not mean we are asking for anything. Why does society let men get away with sexualizing women? It's the 21st century so why does it feel like a part of us is still stuck in the 1960s? Bravo. <laughs> Excellent. It was very nah, it was actually really, really good. Know, do you know how I like to celebrate? Oh, for oh, goodness sake. Oh, don't sakes. pack your back. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
It's not okay for women to crack their back in public, okay? I literally it's disgusting. hate that. She doesn't even do it gently, she's like... like you should have heard my one massive dish went down my whole spine like... Just so you know, it sounds like you're farting when you do that, and it looks like it as well because you do this, you go, no, no, and then it, so yeah, someone's gonna think. You're oh, only doing that just so you, like I don't do it because I think. Um, Grace on the doing... rare occasion has come in my room oh. because I read her my speech with the highlighted points because then I could remember to like look up. And Grace wants to get her belly button pierced. Yeah, I really. Do. So we're gonna ask mom and dad. I basically got hers done when she was 14 and I turned 14 in October. Yeah, so it's not but, I mean it's quite far away, but still. Like, I was 14 but I don't I didn't ask before <clears throat> my voice went a bit croaky. I don't remember asking before, so I think I just asked them and they said yeah, so it's not like an actual age. So we're gonna ask them and then because also I'm getting a piercing someday this week. I'm getting yeah. my conch pierce, which is literally a hoop that goes around your ear and it's through your whole ear and I'm scared. And then I'm also get I need to get my cartilage repairs as well. Bro, you're gonna <laughs> faint, even though I don't I'm not a fainter. Right? You're gonna faint. Because if I get both of them. Pick me girl. <laughs> I'm worth saying to ask you. What? Do you, you think what do you think? Can is? I get my nipple pierced? Oh whoa whoa whoa! Jokes. <laughs> Can Grace get her belly button yes. pierced? Sure thing, baby girl. Really? How old was you? I can't remember. 14. But she didn't ask But before. she's new 14. So. Dad, do you want to be part of the conversation? Yeah. Can Grace get her belly close. button pierced? Yeah, I'm going to Get her belly button pierced? Absolutely not. Why? Why it's a distraction it? for me. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. Them yeah. shorts aren't. Yeah, and that is why I'm doing my speech, guys. If mm. she's brave enough, she it took her about 100 times in the shop to get her ears pierced. So if she's... <laughs> yeah, but... If she's brave enough to get her belly button pierced. My sec that was my first when I didn't have any piercings. But then my, I got my seconds and my cartilage done. True yeah, mum. Yeah, if she wants to, she can. I need to get my piercing as well. As long as I can get my belly button pierced. Then. Okay. Absolutely not. Why not? In no way. How's that fair? I thought it was 21 Because you should century. not be getting out that belly out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so fat shaming and like gender shaming, yeah. <laughs> what, are we in the 1960s? <laughs> That's good that you listen to my speech. I thought with your ADD you wouldn't be able to keep up. Well, I listen to the beginning and the end. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, that was quite easy. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a bit persuading, but... Actually, yeah. only if like you be our like servant for 24 hours. Bro, don't get your belly button pierced. <laughs> I'll be saying no to that one. I packed my bag for school and I got my because I have to wear my pee kit tomorrow. So I got it out and now I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face, get in my pajamas, and I need to sort my I need to sort my clothes out. So I need to put these clothes away and then that needs to go in the bin. That is I need to iron because it's Saffron Barker's new collection. So I'm gonna iron it because I just got it out of the packaging and then I'm gonna put it on my story but obviously I won't iron it tonight I'll just put it in the ironing pile and then that's my pyjamas bags of clothes that I need to try on I don't really know what I'm doing with my life I'm gonna sort it out in some way so I'm gonna do like a little nighttime routine for y'all and I'm not from Texas but I'll just show you what I use for my skincare so I just use this CeraVe SA smoothing cleanser and CeraVe moisturiser I obviously just put my headband in and then I brush my teeth and then I'll show you what I do after that because it's a bit boring to watch me clean my face and my teeth. Okay, I'm ready for bed. I put um pseudo creme on to help my spots out and I've also put on Jake Jamie's new revolution future cravings i think it's a lip balm it's a lip mask okay it says a lip mask but i i just sleep with it on like, i don't wipe it off i don't know if you're meant to wipe it off but i haven't but this this sticky toy pudding one is my favorite it literally makes you want to eat it like i'm literally constantly like this so i can taste it because honestly obviously you're not allowed to eat it and if you actually licked it, it wouldn't actually actually i haven't tried it i might Mm, a little bit actually does um, but this is my first time trying the lemon meringue and it's all just as good but this has to be my favourite one but yeah they're really good and send out fast so be quick if you want to get one so I've just got my gecko out a little pebbles and I'm just going to play with him for a bit because he's obviously he goes awake at night and sleeps in the day so I get to hold him before I go to bed but now it is 11.17. Wait, I'm going to put my LED lights on so you can still see me. 
Um, and I'm gonna, I'm ready for the morning. Like, my school stuff's ready. So, I'm gonna chill in bed and I'm gonna watch an episode of EastEnders because a new one's, a new one's come out today. I'm gonna watch that and I also reply to my Snapchats because I forget to reply in the day. So, I'm gonna like reply to them while I'm watching EastEnders on my laptop. So, I've um, like fed my gecko and gave him water and like, all that stuff. And now I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm just gonna like watch Netflix, but like not for long, like just 10 minutes or something, so I can calm down. Not calm down, but I can just try and get more sleepy. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. So, yeah, like it's like 20 to 12, it's so late. What's your bedtime routine? Um, normally I would take my makeup off and put my nighttime face cream on, but today I'm way too tired and I haven't done either of that. Lately, you've been well tired. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 No, it's 20 to 12. Yeah, true. <gasps> I need so to guys, so does that mean you're going to do school running? No. <laughs> nice mm. try. I've got to edit this video. I need to get the edit done on this video. These enders is finished and it is like 11.50. So I'm going to go to sleep now. And yeah. So you might notice that my skin's a bit red. That's because I've just done my evening skincare routine. The thing is, when you live in a house full of girls, sooner or later, I think you're going to get a skincare routine. You've got better skincare routine than I've got worse. Anyway, it is time to go to bed. So guys, <gasps> cramping my foot. she has cramp in her foot. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.